Hello friends, there's a lot of painful news is coming out here for Windows 10 users. It seems systems are crashing, operating systems are malfunctioning, and data loss is a potential threat. But what exactly is happening? Well, there was an identified security vulnerability related to bypassing BitLocker. To address this, Windows has issued a patch. If I mention the update number like KB5034441, you'll see it here. Pay attention to this update, as you'll find it in your Windows settings too. Now what happens when users try to install this update? They encounter error 0x8007-0643. What are the implications of this error? It's raised concerns among users that this vulnerability needs fixing. So, a question arises. What's the ultimate solution? Microsoft has provided a manual step-by-step -step solution, allowing users to resolve it themselves through specific command prompts. But the challenging aspect here is that even a single mistake in a command can lead to system crashes, data loss, or damage to the operating system, potentially corrupting Windows. Watch the video step-by-step -step to avoid any errors. Friends, here are six methods to solve this issue. If you miss a single step, your data may be lost. In step one, we will run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. For that, first click on the Windows icon here. Then click here. Now click here. Now click here. Click below on additional troubleshooters. Then click on Windows Update. Now click on Run the Troubleshooter. It took some time. If you don't see any problem here, then close it. In step two, we will start the Windows services such as Windows Update and Update Orchestrator service. For that, select Window button plus R, then type services.msc. Enter. Now here, scroll down and search for Windows Update. Now I change the startup type and its properties from manual to automatic and then start it. I do the same thing with Update Orchestrator service. Steps 3 and 4 are crucial in resolving the issue, as these have been recommended by Microsoft for manual execution. To run them, you will require to open CMD as administrator. Paste the following commands one by one, as I given them in description. I am 100% sure that your issue will be solved or fixed by following these steps. It also takes 20 to 30 minutes. To check the Windows run earn environment status, run command reagent C space forward slash info. Now, to disable the Windows run earn environment, run reagent C space forward slash disable. To shrink the OS, run disk part. Then run the command list disk to display disk details such as number, size, and status, assisting users in preparing for formatting or partitioning tasks. Now I copy and paste the select disk command, then you have to type the OS disk. It should be the same disk index. As you can see here, it is hard disk one, so I type one below after select disk. You have to carefully type the disk name mentioned above here. Now I will run prompt list part. None of this is difficult. You just need to copy the command and type the corresponding digits or numbers according to your system. Here you have to type the number corresponding to the left side of the primary partition. So I type four. One more thing, if additional primary values appear here, then first you have to compare the recovery partition's offset value with the primary partition size. Choose the primary partition size that aligns with the recovery partition's offset value. Secondly, select the primary partition with the lowest value or number on the offset side. Now I run shrink desired 250 minimum 250. For your help, I mention these two commands because they are not mentioned in the Microsoft article. I also provide the article link and commands in the description because they play a crucial role in solving this issue. These commands are powerful tools that identify and repair corrupted system files, enhancing your computer's stability and performance. Here I select the partition. Now I will choose the left corresponding number of the recovery partition. But the tricky part is that there are more additional recovery values listed here. So what to do? For that, in your case, you see here in the label recovery instead of Windows RE. You have to look at its size and select accordingly from below. For example, above it is 4999 MB and below as well. 
Then, you select the number left to the recovery partition accordingly. So, I type 1 here. To delete the Windows Run Environment Partition, run the command Delete Partition Override. Run the command list disk to check the asterisk character in the GPT or MBR column. This is the main part where people can make mistakes, leading to data loss and system crashes. Here you should look for a small asterisk, whether it is in the GPT column or the MBR column. If the asterisk is in the GPT column, then run these two prompts. If the asterisk is below in the MBR column, then run this single command. In my case, it is in the GPT column, so I run these two commands. This is the place where you have to pay the most attention. One mistake in your code can delete everything, so it's better to pay attention now than to be surprised later. Learn how to effectively manage your system partitions and avoid common pitfalls. To format the partition, run the command format quick Fs, N, T, F, S label, Windows R, E tools. To confirm that the Win R E partition is created, run command list volume. To exit from disk part, run exit. To re enable Win R E run command reagent, C space forward slash enable. We just check a few things finally. Now to confirm where the Windows run environment is installed, run the command reagent C forward slash info. After that, we need to activate Windows Update Services. To do that, run this command, net start woserve. Let's just click on retry. Now it checks for updates again, and hopefully this time it will install. It does take a little while to check for updates, so I pause the video here. And there we go, it disappears. Let's just check and look down to view the update history. Celebrate the success. Here you can see that the update KB5034441 and other updates have been successfully installed. It's always satisfying to ensure your system is up to date and secure. Hopefully, your problem is solved up to this point. For your information, sometimes if you encounter errors while updating, you can resolve them with the help of the offline update installer from the Microsoft Catalog. If you want to download them, type Microsoft Catalog into your browser and press Enter. Open the first website that appears and search for the update you need. Download it accordingly. I am just showing you here how to download these updates manually, so I can't download them. The final tip is for those who perceive these update errors as a system vulnerability. Some declare their intention to fix the update glitch before resting, but in reality, when they start the updates, additional problems pop up. For those encountering issues with other updates, such as being bothered by them like mosquitoes or flies, you can now hide them using the Microsoft tool called Wusho Hide Diag Cab. You just need to download it, run it, and then click on Next to detect the problems. If you want to hide updates that can't be resolved, click here. So I click, but I can't see any updates because I've already done them all. If this video is helpful, kindly like and subscribe.